I think a lot of people that are in the public eye, uh, you know, there's, there's aspects to it that are not as easy as what people might think. And sometimes there is a type of, of uh, aloneness. I don't even like to say loneliness anymore because I, I'm not lonely, but but you you know you do sometimes have to have to be alone and and ministering to other people is just part of what we do you know i can't be on television and not be recognized so you can't get one without the other and i want to do what god's calling me to do more than i want to have whatever somebody would call a normal life you know my life is normal for me but it's not normal according to your everyday society so there are sacrifices then, yeah, as you're saying, for the ministry. There are, but you know, anything that we give up for God, He gives it back to us multiplied so many, many times over. I mean, what a privilege it is to, to be able to help people or to even have people want to be like you or, or want to learn from you. It's, it's a great privilege to, to write a book and get it into, you know, several hundred thousand people's hands. And so I'm... Uh, I'm certainly not anybody that anybody ever needs to feel sorry for. You know, once in a while, I guess I'll still feel sorry for myself when I'm tired, but, <laughs> but it's kind of stupid when I do. So uh, I encourage anybody to make whatever sacrifices they need to, to be in the perfect will of God, because there's no better place to be. Tune in to The Profile Interview in association with Christianity Magazine every Saturday at 4 p.m. only on Premier Christian Radio where faith comes to life.